Coming to you from the Shotgun Shogun September Showdown News Desk, it's me, Shotgun Shogun. Today we're going to be talking about the fourth bracket of individuals that will be participating in the tournament this weekend in the Shotgun Shogun September Showdown $1,000 tournament. That's right, these are the last contestants and you will finally have the full bracket. Now, I know you guys have been waiting patiently for this and, well, let's get started. Our first contestant in the fourth bracket is going to be Solara, global player. Legend rank 30 last season. Favorite go-to pick is Holiday Euphine and most known for flexibility. Their primary play style is variable in that they use everything from cleave to CC to bruiser. Now I have fought Solara many, many a times on the ladder. Very, very strong player. Uh, anybody who goes up into the top 50 of Legend, as we have mentioned many, many times before, is no slouch when it comes to PvP. Solara has actually given me quite a a few ideas in the past from watching them play as well as just talking to them in general very solid knowledgeable player and I really do like the variable play style. As we have mentioned before amongst other players, the variable play style is very, very strong because you don't know exactly what they are going to be drafting, right? Mid-draft, they can easily just shift gears into something completely different. Maybe you think they're going Bruiser, all of a sudden, Bruiser Cleave, Bruiser CC. Maybe you think that they're going CC or Cleave and then they switch it up into another mode. Maybe, just maybe they'll bring out something that nobody has seen before. Very interesting prospect there. Our next player though is going to be Other, and this is a player who is representing the guild Bears Before Ho. I don't know that I have ever actually matched up with them. I have met up with Other on the ladder before. They are a legend level player go to pick is ruel most known for fighter maya which is actually not something that you see too often but the one really nice thing about fighter maya is not only does she hit hard she's very super hard to actually take out of the game due to the bulk that she has unless you're running something along the lines of maybe like a watcher shuri or somebody who ignores defense right but cannot cc her reliably very very strong in the cc meta and she's gonna bop you for a truckload of damage plays predominantly bruiser style which is typical of somebody whose favorite picks are ruel and most known for fighter maya we will see though if other can overcome solara in this one next one up is somebody that i feel like a lot of people probably know it is going to be pan shui global player legend rank 86 very known for the tempest surin pick which is his go-to and what he is most known for now he does play bruiser variable a little bit typically does favor the bruiser play style more often than not but has an amazing tempest surin uh i do believe that actually panshu is probably one of the people who was on the cutting edge of the t surin lifestyle the t surin meta it was one of the people that i know was running t surin very early before she caught on so has a very very disgusting t surin we will see though if he is able to pull that out or if it will be a targeted ban against him but going up against pan shui is going to be honjo and one thing that i can already say about this is anybody who knows this guy knows that he has counter sets on just about everything counter sets on all units is what he is most known for and those counter sets are pretty disgusting counter sets legend rank 61 favorite pick is dizzy bruiser cc now especially when you do run the counter sets on everybody your dizzy is your go-to pick it's gonna be bruiser cc so it'll be interesting to see what else he has in that kit with the bruiser cc is it gonna be an a tie win are we gonna see some sort of you know 
bruiser CC units that you don't typically see, right? Maybe a bruiser CC Flitica, maybe a Mui, I don't know, not sure. Will be interesting to see how he goes up against the Pan Shui. Now, one of the big things to think about here is that counterattack can really put the hurt on Tempest Surin because unlike other units like, say, a Spectre Tenebria, things along those lines, she can be counterattacked, can be Elbrus Ritual Sorted, so this is going to be really big when it comes to actually countering the Tempest Surin. And the next player is going to be probably one of my favorite players, and that is Godless. Because if Godless has million numbers of fans, I am one of them. If Godless has 10 fans, I am one of them. If Godless has only one fan, that is me. If Godless has no fans, that means I am no longer on the earth. If the world is against Godless, I am against the world. Global player, legend rank 70. Godless, very, very strong. Go to pick, actually, specimen says most people don't even know what he does other than being one of the best units that Epic 7 has ever created. But most known for apparently throwing, which I don't think is true, unless it is throwing people out of the ring after he has dumpstered them. He says that his primary play style is inting and sprinting, but I think that this is just Godless's way of taking and making sure that Jace is on the back foot. Jace, Fleet Player Global, Legend 100. Now, I don't know if he actually landed at exactly 100 because if so what what a what a nail biter that one would have been his favorite go-to pick on the ladder is he just steals ruel which is pretty a pretty good strategy actually uh he's apparently most known for having hair which is also a very solid very, very solid attribute that Jace brings to the table. Unfortunately, for those people who are hairless, it is a little bit of a detriment going up against this monster of a player. Primary play style, I pick Janky Cleave and Bruiser's Umaru Cool. So Jace also not giving us too much, but can the million number of fans that are backing Godless come out ahead of Jace who in fact has hair. But the next one, the next one is the RN Jesus himself. The God that is Sam Harado. Winner of the second anniversary live stream tournament, EU player, placed in champion, but I think that he was sandbagging the majority of the the majority of the time. He says that his favorite go-to pick is F Cecil, but I'm pretty sure that it is F CC as Cecil was from uh, Final Fantasy, uh, The Dark Knight. Maybe that was actually who he was going with, uh, but he is most known for the triple unity set k -Ron, which let me tell you is a monster to fight up against. Literally, this man has been confirmed by Nu and Mashu to not actually have a dual attack cap chance in his account that has been lifted the restrictions have been broken by the the hopes and the dreams of all of brazil's players all combined together because muzi couldn't make it uh, so all of br's hope lies in this one man we are going to see if this man can be rng carried into into the moon he will be fun to watch, but he is going to be going up against Booty Pop Triple X, and he is the winner of the Champions Cup. Now, the thing with Booty Pop is that a lot of people have seen him play, but did he take the time in between the Champions Cup and the main tournament to hit the lab and come back with something completely brand new? We haven't seen Sam Harado playing since the tournament, since the second anniversary tournament in a tournament 
So maybe he's been hitting the lab as well. Maybe he will come out with something insanely crazy, but that is all of the contestants in the last bracket. Now we have all of the contestants. The bracket has been announced. Everything is coming down to tomorrow and Sunday. We will be starting the pregame around 1, 1 1.30 EST to talk a little bit about the brackets, get everything set up, and the fights will start sharply at 2 p.m. EST on both days. Now, it is going to be some very, very sweaty matches, and I am super excited for this. I have been talking to a handful of the players. They are already talking about ML Crow. We might we're going to see some ML Crow, and it'll be interesting to see how people will handle this absolutely brand new unit that's going to hit this tournament scene i'm absolutely excited for that i want to see some of these big brain plays right these are the biggest brain of big brain players and there should be no int and sprint there should be no smooth brain drafts these are going to be the fights to watch if you want to see some top level play make sure that you tune in to the twitch channel i will be casting with deity as well as cafe Kaz. and then following the tournament we will have a breakdown of everything the vods will be up there if you did not get a chance but from the news desk of the shotgun shogun september showdown i'm shotgun shogun and i'll catch you next time take it easy homies peace yeah.